Ripple Fell is a new style of embroidery in build 3776, and I'm sure you're just going to love it. Let's just start started with a basic shape uh, like an ellipse. And so the new style of embroidery, you select your shape down at the bottom right here is called Ripple Fill. And so I'll go ahead and click on that now. And the embroidery will start in the center and work its way around and around and around until it reaches the outside of your shape. And that's called the ripple fill. Now, things that are interesting, first of all, maybe I'll open up the density so that you can see the effect more easily because I've got more space between the rows. And notice now, um, if you use the shape tool, you can move the center of the ellipse to be somewhere outside of the center like this and when you hit enter or apply it will redo the stitches emanating from the point that you've selected and so now that becomes the central point where it will ripple around and around and it still goes so the stitches become closer here and further apart there due to the offset center and this can be really really interesting because if you take this center point and you move it let's say outside of the shape and then click enter or apply um, it gives a three-dimensional effect and look how those run stitches contour around that shape creating that three-dimensional effect and so this is something that you are sure to have a lot of fun with and create some very interesting effects um, perhaps a good example of it is uh, in our you know using our kind of custom shapes options um, the butterfly and so you take your little butterfly artwork and then you go ahead and with your first click you can get that um, ripple effect and now you can kind of play with the stitch spacing um, and another sort of effect. So when you look at the properties box for the ripple fill, notice first of all that um, the software thinks of it as a sort of single run line. And so it's going to do a single run along this line. But for example, if you wanted to, you could open that spacing up and then do that line as a double run. Um, or a bean stitch. And so that would make that line heavier. Does that make sense? So you can choose between single, double, or bean stitch, or half bean, um, or motif to put inside of there. Now, um, the next one might be uh, to try single run, but then apply a gradient. So when we do the single run, it looks like this. But if we change to having a gradient effect, there's increasing, decreasing, convex and concave. And so if I apply this, then it'll start out with, um, in this case, it's increasing. So the least amount in the center and getting kind of closer and closer as it goes through. Here, let's adjust the density back down to two again. So you see it a little bit more clearly. Um, or the opposite, decreasing. So now it will start with sort of tighter in the middle and get less and less towards the outside. So you can see just how fun this tool can really be. Um, I've got some samples that I can show you guys. So uh, perhaps one more demonstration, then a few photographs. Um, I'll click on a new workspace for this one and I'll draw a shape. So I'm just gonna click on the pencil and use the pen mode to make kind of like a squiggle. And really it can just be whatever shape you want. Uh, but this can be kind of fun because now what I'll do is convert it to a ripple, choose my shape tool and move the center of that ripple to be somewhere like over here so that it creates a point around my shape that I've drawn. Now we'll take this sort of three dimensional um, bit of embroidery and use a circular template. And notice that as I rotate the angle of the design, you can change where the point is going to be. And what I actually did with my design was made it so that the points faced out and it turned into this really interesting sort of star. Can you see that? And so, and you can play with the size of the design and the scale of it to get all kinds of interesting effects. Um, but these are the kind of samples that I made. And so um, perhaps the photographs will help explain it. So there's the butterfly with a, a gradient effect um, increase or sort of decreasing, I think. No, 
yeah, increasing. So it started out open, getting more and more density towards the outside. And I finished the design off with our new backstitch tool. So that's another new effect that's new in the build um, 3776 is the backstitch. And I used that for the outline. Um, what an interesting effect here. I've used the letters FTCU and created a ripple for each letter that kind of emanated from a point, which I made a common point for the F and the T and the C and the U. Um, I'm sure we'll I'll do weekly videos on some of these great ideas. This will show you um, a parallelogram with the, or I guess a hexagon, a hexagon with the um, different gradient effects. So this is regular. This is going to be increasing. That one's decreasing. Uh, this one's convex and concave. And so this one goes from open density to tighter and then back open again and the opposite anyway you guys are going to love the new um effect there's a cool maple leaf that i made with it and this is that star that i was telling you about that i made and showed you how i made it and this is a cool design this was from the um, floriani ftcu monthly designs in june 2021 that's where you can find this cool sunflower which was made using multiple layers of ripple fill allowing the colors to blend together and it's a real beauty design so we're just sure that you're going to love the latest fill style in build 3776, the new Ripple Fill.